All right, gang, gang, we got another freaking PSA return. Man, we've we've been having PSA returns come back left and right lately. Some of my favorite videos to do. Come on. I always... Why can't I get these boxes open, bro? Every freaking video, I... It's always that last piece of tape that just gives me... We good, we good. All right, that's not good. Right off the bat, I see a green, this, this green thing. Usually means they didn't grade something, so uh, we'll just start off with that and see what the problemo is. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what this could possibly be. Like I said, guys, we've been doing so many PSA submissions lately. Y'all can go out, check out the whole playlist to see all the cards we've been grading. I'll put links to those videos in the descriptions. But literally, tons of tons of videos. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? <sighs> Dude, I forgot about this. So the crazy thing is, I'm sure everybody's seen the whole CGC thing that went down and I sent the miscut card to CG. God, what is Jesus Christ? There's huge, huge damage on this sleeve right here. We'll see if that actually damaged the card in a second because that's going to suck. But anyways, when that whole CGC thing went down where I cut the cards and they actually graded it, I literally pulled this like four days after that went like mega viral. Um... I pulled it live in the Discord, so it was just funny. Like, so people saw me pull this, and everybody was just geeking because it's like, what the heck? What are the chances of that? Um, man, that's bad on the sleeve, so I don't. And it's not on this, so whoever graded it obviously did that. That's pretty rough. But um, let's see what they put on the label. So it is a miscut. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I don't think PSA grades miscut cards, but I. Said what the heck and sent it to them just because CGC has banned me. So, all right. Um, so, severe damage on the sleeve right there. But did it actually damage the card? Um, no. It doesn't look like the card is damaged at all. This is a pretty cool freaking error card, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, I did, I did not cut this one. I actually pulled this one from the pack. I have witnesses. But this, you definitely don't want to see your card stuck in a sleeve like that it's not like i'm extremely worried about the energy miscut card but if i had like an alt art charizard or something sitting in this sleeve i'd be pretty pressed right now and with that being said i've seen so much controversy about the grading companies lately um so we'll talk about that a little bit throughout this video as well uh but first let me go ahead and pull out all these slabbies i already see some metal We've got some metal cards in this submission yeah this is a cool submission i'm i'm super excited to get into this it's almost freaking thanksgiving man it's my birthday next monday is my birthday y'all got like 30 something slabs to go through so i'm excited to see let me move this camera a little bit i'm excited to see what we can get starting off with an erica's invitation sir from 151 this was the very first card that i pulled from 151 bang a freaking nine y'all know i like to start with a 10 but a nine's not too shabby especially i think there's a lot of scarlet and violet era cards in the submission and y'all will see that scarlet and violet uh, Vila, what the hell is a Vila? Scarlet and Violet is a lot harder to grade than the Sword and Shield Air. Oh my god, the Delta Species Crobat. This is such a good looking card. All the way back from 2005. And a 9 on that. Oh my god, we will definitely 100% take a 9 on this card. That is not bad at all. I actually bought this as Near Mint from TCG Players. So you love to see something like that. Alright, but now let's talk about the little controversy I've been seeing. So, you know... I don't like CGC. I'm outright say it, y'all. J I'm just not a huge fan of CGC. I'm sure y'all have seen it. They've banned me, but even before the whole banning thing, because everybody knows that one story that I went through, I've had multiple problems with them. I've spoken to them like through DMs multiple times. Just don't like them as a company. They've done some shady stuff. They've been caught up many, many times on many different occasions, you know, messing up, grading cards, whatever. I definitely am biased because of the whole banning situation. Don't get me wrong, I'm 100% biased. Bang, finally, a freaking PSA 10, and it's on the biggest card yet out of the whole submission, the Tyranitar V alternate art from Battle Styles. What a freaking beautiful card. We just got one of these in a 10 in one of our recent submissions. I think the very last submission, actually. But yeah, so y'all know how I feel about CGC. Anyways, though, I see a bunch of stuff about PSA as well. Like, God dang, Mew VMAX and a PSA? I don't know what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah, bring it to me, son. Come on, son. That's what we like to see. All right, y'all, really quick intermission. 
So, y'all have never seen this room before on the channel. And I don't know why, but I just wanted to show y'all this real quick. Slowly but surely on building a new channel that will be outside of the world of Pokemon. I don't know why y'all would even want to hear this, but I just wanted to show you. So this is kind of going to be the backdrop to the studio. I'm actually going to use that desk to sit at and that will be like over here. I got a shelf coming in. There will be like a fridge with a bunch of like cool drinks and stuff. We got the chair in the corner. It's just going to be a really cool room with like things I like in the background, like Pokemon, Star Wars. I actually got some vinyls back here of like my favorite albums and stuff. So just kind of a more chill room. Uh, it's gonna be more of a chill channel. I'm really excited for it. Feel free to skip this part If y'all want to get back to the grading just skip like 30 seconds ahead But it is about to be Black Friday. So this is obviously a big time for my store shinyvert.com Black Friday sales the early ones are already here y'all and uh packs literally are selling out without me even promoting I've sent out like one email Full art god packs, they're flying off the shelves. Alternate art god packs are already sold out completely. Charizard god packs are going quick. If y'all want stuff on a sale, you can keep it under your tree until Christmas. Go to shinyvert.com and get your goodies on a sale, man. This is the most boring promo I've ever done on the channel. I like this room, bro. I'm excited for this room. I'm so excited for the new channel. Oh yeah, and uh, I'm gonna give y'all one more sneak peek of the mystery packs that are about to drop. They're gonna be huge. I'm so excited for that. I'm literally so excited. I know, I say the same thing every video, but I'm just super excited. All right, y'all, here's your new sneak peek. Ignore that half the tree is lit, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on getting the new lights, but um, yeah. They're gonna sell out quick. I'm almost 100% sure that they're gonna sell out. I've just gotten countless DMs about it and everything. People asking like how they can get them or whatever, which I'm so appreciative of. I did, I, I obviously thought they'd do well. I just didn't think it would get this type of feedback, which is really cool. The number one way that you can have the best shot to getting these packs when they release is going to shinyvert.com and just putting your email in. You can just scroll to the bottom of the website, put your email in, that is going to be the first way that I tell people that the packs have released. Those, the people that put their email in will get notified first. So in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna tell y'all the drop date and the drop date will be before my birthday. All right, back to the grades. Yeah. Basically what I'm trying to say, oh my God, the level X, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, PSA 7. That's honestly not too bad for a level X card. PSA 7. Garatina level X. Growing up as a kid, I know this is just a promo. This was the very first card I had in my childhood binder. Like, it was like one of my favorite cards as a kid. But yeah, basically what I'm trying to say about PSA is that, God, I just, I'm sorry. Y'all know how it goes, all right? When I see these cards, it's hard to just keep talking through them. But basically, <laughs> freaking 10. Yes, dude. Oh my God. We're starting off pretty strong right Right now so some lower grades on like the older stuff which is you know kind of to be more expected but some tens on some of the big hitters we got the dancing genesect v another freaking 10 we're going crazy right now this is definitely a solid start um but psa is gonna have problems like i've, I've been getting these comments non-stop lately like oh cgc is better than psa or psa is better than cgc or beckett is is blah 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 but what the fuck Freaking PSA 7, what the hell did this one get? Uh, I feel like I saw something maybe up here. What what just happened? I feel like I I had seen something. Yeah, maybe there's some kind of like raised surf. I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing things. I don't really know. PSA 7 though. That sucks on a, on a modern alt art from Sword and Shield. That sucks. All these people are taking sides and stuff. I just don't think, I think it's pretty pointless to take sides at this point with like grading companies they are all going to have problems like point blank period i guess the problem i'm having is that like people are are washing me because i like psa personally the best and they're like why are you talking about cgc yada yada um i, I don't know the the problem i have is that i'm not gonna sit here and say that psa doesn't have problems and that's what they're doing like all these people are like who who choose one and get on the side of it they'll be like no cgc is the best they've never made mistakes ever no i don't like cgc but i'm not going to sit here and say that psa doesn't have problems a hundred percent every grading company i mean i think it's pretty common themed that the most accurate graders i would think is beckett you know what I'm saying? And that might be a hot take because PSA is my favorite, but um, I think most people in the hobby 
would probably confirm that who have graded a lot i've heard a lot of you know strong stories about people sending to beckett or um something i've done a lot with both psa and cgc is cracking cards out of the cases and regrading them to see if those grades will stay the same or not it's literally like a 50 50 i mean half the time they're going up half the time they're going down but i've heard a lot of good stories about that with beckett actually where people will crack them um it's definitely something i'm going to be trying here on this channel in the future but uh i've heard pretty strong stuff about beckett usually getting the same grade back to you which is pretty pretty cool that's what you want to see with a grading company right like if you crack the card out of the case and you don't damage it at all and it doesn't get damaged in shipping and stuff you know there are a lot of different things that could happen in that process that may affect the grade but um only going down like the grade should never go up technically like technically speaking and i've had that happen with both psa and cgc where i've cracked cards out of the cases and i'll get the grade back and it it, it has went up somehow so long story short i'm just trying to say that all these companies beckett included i know i kind of spoke highly of them for a second and i haven't used them too much so take that with a grain of salt everything i just said I'm just talking about like what i've heard common you know common talks in the pokemon community i guess all the companies have problems guys you can't sit here and say that cgc doesn't or psa doesn't um feel free to have your own preference of what you like i mean that's what i'm doing like my preference is psa that's just the slabs i like the best so i continue to grade with psa freaking metal rcs card right here nine another thing i'll say about psa i hate the bags that they use on the metal cards i think it looks horrible um like you you can see when the light hits it you can completely see like this bag and everything in there i hate it i absolutely hate it and they've had things with cards chip in the metal cards all that all that stuff right so like I don't know i'm just saying none of the companies are perfect just choose somebody you like and just like them but i think it's stupid to sit here and say that the company you do like is the only perfect one because <laughs> i promise you i've seen so many people who are like oh and then there's the the next argument of cgc grades harder than psa bruh come on now <laughs> i don't think so i think beckett's the hardest grader um I think PSA would be second. Maybe that's a bias thing or a hot take I'm saying, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just got on a freaking tangent there. I know that's just my take on it. Y'all can feel free to let me know in the comments what y'all think about the whole grading situation. I've seen a lot of people bang. That's what I'm talking about right there. Aerodactyl V, one of the most beautiful alternate arts, I think in the entire Sword and Shield era. I know Garatina stole the show, but Aerodactyl looks so good. Like this is an amazing, amazing artwork on a card. I love it. I, everything about this, it has a story. It's got like a whole theme to it. I love that card so freaking much. But yeah, feel free to let me know like y'all's thoughts and opinions on that in the comments. Also, it's about to be freaking Thanksgiving, y'all. I'm so thankful for y'all. I guess I'll get into that a little bit more in tomorrow's video. But I really am super thankful for y'all that, you know, spend your time watching me or supporting me, all that good stuff. I got some early Black Friday sales up on shinyvert.com right now. Y'all probably saw that earlier in this video. Um... And then tomorrow, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button because I will be going over, I'm gonna post another video tomorrow going over a ton of Black Friday sales that are happening right now. A ton. Like, if y'all wanna save money on Pokemon, oh my God, this is such a beautiful freaking card. But if y'all wanna save money on Pokemon, y'all gotta watch the video tomorrow. All right, Garatina Hollow, come on, bro. Let's look at this thing. Let's actually try to guess this grade. Definitely a Nick down here, bottom left corner, a little bit of whitening. Uh, maybe a tiny, tiny bit up here in the top left. Really, really, really minuscule dings in the top right. Definitely one of the, yeah, so 10 is off the table for sure. Um, centering actually looks pretty good. Um, the front, I know it's, probably pretty hard to see if they're scratching and stuff i would guess mm, i would guess an eight i'll go with an eight on this card man i'm too good oh, i'm too good baby that's what i'm talking about bruh <clears throat> All right, and we're already down to it. The last freaking card. This is the last card of the submission. This has actually been a pretty freaking fire submission, and we're ending on a Charizard EX from 151. Printed quality's trash. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is probably not a freaking 10.
Oh, no way, dude. Charizard EX and a 10 will take it. Been doing a ton of PSA submissions. If y'all want to watch another one, click this video right here. Or you can check out the whole playlist. I've probably graded over a thousand cards on the channel at this point. Go binge the whole playlist, and I will see y'all in tomorrow's video. Peace. Uh, Time to fuck me, no fuck you. I hate you, I love you. I hate that I still love you.